use on the YouTubes. Do, do, do. Good morning, everybody. Pop over. Why is that popping up asking me if I'm using YouTube? That's better. everybody happy thursday uh the weekend's almost a pause i guess <laughs> uh hopefully everybody's having a great day thus far uh hopefully you guys today is better than mine started off i'm gonna be honest my morning is not that good right now but i'm here let's see if we can turn this day around right oh uh, got a nice little show for you today We've got some hands-on products today, of course. I think seven or eight uh, hands-on products today, uh, besides some B-rolls and stuff like that. But, very cool show nonetheless. Good morning, John. How you doing, bud? Don't mind me. I, I'm actually... Am I early? Oh, I'm an hour early, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, not sure I didn't pay attention to that one. Uh, let me repeat, it's, it hasn't been a good start to my morning, so hopefully I'm trying to turn it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's not go there about this morning, right? That's just, just not doing it. Uh, it's definitely one of them days. So guys, we have a nice little uh, deal showcase for you today. Some nice little products, uh, uh, nonetheless. Now, we have some giveaways going on, and I believe Justin did not tell me if I was doing a gift card. Uh, let's see. If he pops in, we'll see if he wants a gift card given away or not. Uh, but if he does, then I will say, yeah, sarcastic. Yeah, I'm not, it's... It's already been one of the mornings, dude. I already wanted to roll back in bed and not get up. And I don't do that. Usually I'm a morning person with no problems. This morning's been just one of those. Hey, Iggy, buddy. Uh, if you guys that are in here have seen some of the graphics card videos that we've shown, that is Iggy. Iggy's the PC guru. If you guys don't know, I'm going to honestly tell you guys, follow his channel, follow his page. That boy's got some tips and tricks that you guys will love. Uh, he, he can tell you how to set up a computer with his eyes closed. And uh, if I can't figure it out, I know he'll be able to figure out my issues. Uh, dudes, dudes, dudes a badass. Uh, how you doing, man? Anytime, buddy. TS, thank you for the follow. Oh, man, it's just, yeah, it's been one of them mornings, guys. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not sure I should have woke up this morning. But we're going to go with this. Oh, yeah, you're at work. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, on, man. Yeah, I say it happens. I started, I guess I started early. I didn't, I wasn't looking at the time when I started. I thought it was time to start, so <laughs> even my internal clock's all messed up today. Guys, the first product up is from EF EcoFlow. It is a 220 watt bifocal or bifocal or bifocal foldable solar panel. Guys, this solar panel will work with the EF EcoFlow Delta Max or the River, I believe. I will help power that up and recharge it as you need. 
Now this is really cool. So if you guys don't have like a power working or if you have like a natural disaster and have no access to power, this solar panel will let you charge this power uh, pack with it. It's a really cool little product. It's like $439 a day. It's a no brainer to add to it. Uh, we're gonna pop over, hope uh, if I have the scenes, yes, I have the scene set up properly. <laughs> uh, I thought that was, but as you guys see, it's a nice big solar panel. So it's not small guys. It's definitely decent sized and it will help power this. Now they're showing you guys capture from five to 25% more energy with it. It is a 220 watt front panel with 155 watt rear panel. So I did not realize this had a rear panel and that's actually really cool. Uh, you know, really, really nice to have this fully waterproof. So don't worry about that. You guys, it's not going to get hurt. Uh, it's designed, it has a carrying case to take it with you and everything. Uh, it's just one of them products that you will definitely need with the EF Flow power stations. Uh, you know, just a great thing. So I was just given the okay to do a gift card giveaway. So we're going to be doing a gift card giveaway. On top of that, we do have the gaming laptop giveaway going on or $800, guys. And then on top of that, we also have a Nintendo Switch Lite uh, giveaway going on with that also. I will post those links there for you. Now, uh, Boss Man, if you are listening in, I definitely kind of saw what you were posting to me, but I cannot watch it. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, it looks like an Expanse video game that Justin is trying to say we need. <laughs> So guys, you have know, Flow, great little product. If you need it, works with the power stations. I know you guys have seen the power stations on here many of times. So what can we say? You need the solar power, that way you can keep it charged. Uh, next up is Toshiba 7-in-1 countertop microwave. I believe I did this one. Uh, we'll definitely see. Yep, I did this video. Okay, YouTube, today we'll take a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Toshiba. This is their actual uh, seven in one microwave now seven in one. Yes, it's not just a microwave guys So this is called the origin inverter. So what this does is this that can actually air fry it can bake It can broil all of that good stuff all at once it can do multiple pieces include combination cooking and all of that now some cool stuff. It is a brush, blushed, like brushed black aluminum. Guys, frame, let's be honest. Uh, brushed black, black frame, which is great. Now inside style this aluminum. Kit, of course, if you open it up, even I can't speak now. Start stumbling myself. In there, guys. Hey, dark one. Microwave that always stays in there. You get a low metal rack. Now this metal rack can only be used yeah. when you're baking and broiling. You also get a higher metal rack, which can also. I'm going to be honest, guys. This throws me through a loop having being able to throw metal in a microwave. Uh, because you can actually bake in it, you can air fry in it, and you can do convection uh, cooking, all kinds of stuff with this. It comes with the stands, the racks, and everything that you need. Now, remember, if you're just using the microwave mode, you definitely do not want to put the metal in there. Now, if you're using the cookie mode air fryer, then definitely you can do that. It also has the button so you can shut off the timer ding or the button dings. Uh, you know, if you guys are like me, I hate hearing the dings every time my kid turns the microwave on. Uh, so it's cool to have that. It has a speed dial. So you do have the dial so you can adjust your time and everything. You adjust your temperatures. It works very, very well. It has a cooking uh, cookbook. The cookbook will actually teach you how to use this with what settings or what mode you need and then step by step, which is really cool to have that option built in with this thing. Now, it is, I believe it's like 1.1 cubic feet so or 1.2 cubic feet. So it's decently sized. You don't need nothing really that much bigger unless you're feeding a huge family. Up there, you have the design logo. On that logo, we'll actually show you what settings to use and how to adjust it. So a really cool little product, guys. Works well. No issues and great price. Uh, how you guys doing over there, Joanne and uh, no, Noslin? Uh I, I, you know, I can barely see the chat today. I probably should be wearing my glasses. My dyslexia is off the hook this morning. Uh, guys, with this mic microwave 7 and one we're going to jump over. It has multiple modes, multiple fan speeds, multiple other speeds, rotation speeds. It has so many adjustments and other things that this is actually a really great uh, microwave all-in-one. Uh, you know, if you don't have the space to have an air fryer or a toaster oven and all of that stuff, this is an all-in-one. It'll take place of all those separate pieces, 
You don't have to have all those. So it's a great little product at a decently priced, like $341. It's actually a good price. I highly recommend that one. Uh, how's everybody doing? Now, uh, for those just popping in, we are doing a gift card giveaway today, so make sure to answer that. Uh, you know, change to here. <laughs> All right, no problem. Totally understand. I can read that chat better. Uh, for some reason, my uh, restream chat is like itty bitty today. I'm telling you, it, it's it's a bad day today. <laughs> I, I after this stream, I will be taking another nap and trying to start over. Uh, what do we got next? Oh, Anchor products. So we got some Anchor products, guys. We're going to pop over here. So we're going to show you guys the web page for this. This is the Anchor Nebula capsule. This is their uh, uh, Anchor Max. So this is the Max version, guys, right? So it has this 8-watt speaker. It has up to 100-inch picture. It has a 4-hour four, uh, four video time, and it comes like this, guys, right? This is what it comes like. Now I'm going to pop over. Let's show you guys in scene. This is not big, guys. This is portable. It's rechargeable. It is just amazing that you can actually do this, take it with you, use it wherever you want. Has a remote control. Even has, I believe, a carrying pouch in here somewhere. I can't remember. But the remote control is just standard remote, guys. I mean, let's be honest. It's standard remote. Works pretty much with everything. Uh, it is a 720p native. It is 200 ANSI, guys, and it is this small. Look at the size of that. This is that projector, guys. This is just very, very small. On the top, you do have some buttons. Uh, right here, guys, you have your power, plus, minus, menus, and all of that good stuff. On the sides, you have your... Uh, this will actually help adjust and put it in adjustment. So, you know, uh, some projectors will be a little fuzzy and grainy. You'll have to adjust that to set it up uh, to make it perfect. It's, you know, just one of the things. It's so good that it's pocket size, though. I mean, it's honestly cool. I mean, if I turn this on, it should still be charged. Let's see if it'll turn on. You guys will see it light up, right? I don't know if we can actually get this to pop up on a wall so you can see it. See, there we go. A mini, mini, mini screen. Oh, hold on. I'm now a screen, <laughs> guys. But they even the lame load, loads up blue. It's, it's awesome. 360 degrees sound from the speaker, guys. If you need, you have an HDMI input, you have your power charging port, and you have a tripod mount. If you use a tripod mount, it's a great little projector. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This does have built in, I believe, uh, what, I can't remember the iOS on this one. I believe though it's Android 8.1 on this one. So with the Android 8.1, guys, you'll have all the access to all of the TV uh, services that you need. Uh, you could also sell, add in, uh, you know, Amazon Luna and turn this into a gaming console. But with the HDMI port, guys, you can connect up any console you want or like uh, any other services. Fully Bluetooth, guys, you can connect up a Bluetooth uh, uh, Bluetooth soundbar, Bluetooth speakers, all of that to add extra sound with that if you really need. It does do a picture from anywhere from 40 to 100 inches. Guys, this thing's a nice, nice little product. Now, we have a little video of this I, I did. I am now... Uh, I know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, my parents warned me too. Don't stare too much at the TV. Your eyes are going to... Yeah, all that good stuff. Um, good morning, Kmart Kelly. Good morning, Iris. Good morning, Rover, Evans, Jennifer. Hey, guys. How are you guys all doing? Nice to see you all. I'm not really sure what you mean, buddy. Let's pop over. So I did do a little testing with this, so James here and today let's pop Welcome over and let's show you guys this. Let's see what it does. Oh, I have the Nintendo yeah, Switch on this, right? Uh, this is on my bare wall, so bare you guys be all that sound is actually take this with a grain of salt. Yeah, that's on a bare wall that's you know not perfectly white. So uh the lighting is still well, bright outside. There we go. All the sound you heard from that was from that little uh projector and all of that good stuff. 
off, we want to turn the volume uh, I'm not sure what you mean what that's for, so. Off. Back up. Let's, let's see what happens. Works very, very well. Guys, so first, um, first, you know, thoughts out the box and just testing, quick testing. This is actually a great little product. Now, guys, you definitely, it's over, a little bit over, uh, probably 100 inches right now because of the way I have it. So, guys, it worked well, even for gaming. Now, the one thing I will tell you guys is in, like, another week or so, I hope to be getting a projection screen. A uh, full-framed one, I'm putting it on a wall, and I will be redoing almost every projector video I have done. I have still have all my Maxes. I have all the anchor projectors, so I will be redoing them with the, the coloration being fixed and all of that. But, this is a great little projector, guys. It's really, really great. HD monitoring program gives you... Oh, yeah, hard drive stuff. Yeah, I don't know. You had me, uh, I was like lost. I was like, what? <laughs> so great little product, guys. $369 today, normally $469. Uh, good little projector. Now the next one we're going to show you guys is their 4K Nebula Cosmos. Now this one will cost you a little bit more. Guys, this thing is a 4K. It is a 2400 ISO Luminous. It is Android 10.0 with a dongle guys autofocus keystone correction screen fit all of the goodies built in this thing is going to be beautiful and it's portable yes you heard that right guys this is portable it has wi-fi bluetooth has the remote controls has your inputs on the back if you want to connect up stuff you can also connect up microphones and you can do karaoke with this which is just beautiful to be able to do that with the Android 10.0, you have access to over 400,000 apps and movies and episodes and all of that good stuff. Guys, Anchor did a killer job with this stuff. Honestly, great, great products. I cannot tell you how much, it, you know, honestly, it's just a great, great product. I highly recommend them, guys, if you need them. Uh, Zachary, thank you for the follow. Uh, next up is the Holy Stone HS710. This is coming in at about $197. This is a 4K foldable drone that Nate did. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am excited to and showcase to you this. the HS710 drone from Holy Stone. I'm trying Stone. to wake up, This guys. thing has a lot of awesome features. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump in and get right into it. So the HS710 is a foldable compact drone. As you can see here, it is very easy to set up out of the box. All you have to do is just unfold these arms and you're ready to move on. Now the camera on the HS710 is right here on the bottom and it has a 4K sensor on it. So you can definitely capture great footage. 4K, you now the HS710 there. is a quad capter. So that means it has four motors and each motor has two blades on it. Don't worry about destroying these. They send you extras. I need to shut my so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hand controller. Up here on top, you're going to have your foldable antennas. On the bottom, you're going to have some grips that also fold down. out so you can hold it nicer. Gizmo. On the top here, you have your joysticks that will allow you to control it going up and down, left it and right. Out. And on the front is also Margaret, where you're going to have other morning. controls such as launching top and landing. Top of the morning to everybody. Feature. On the top of the hand controller, you're going to have this little Evening, indentation. Night, right wherever so what you want to do is just oh, pull that out. And when you pull that out, you might see that it needs to come out just a little bit more and it'll have this little fold down clip this is where you're going to insert your phone and the hs710 comes with two batteries when fully charged will give you 25 minutes of flight time each inserting the battery is very easy simply You'll just probably only get about 23 sure guys to be honest with you go. it just happened so what you want to do now for the setup is you want Here to download go. ophelia go which is the app that is going to allow you to control and live view the drone footage in real time so once you go ahead and get that installed It'll walk you through all of the steps and the processes on how to get that set up. It's super simple. Just follow the prompts and it'll tell you everything that you need to do to get this thing going. So once you've gotten this thing all the I way set up follow. and you have the drone on, you will see a little green status bar indicator that. and that means we're ready to fly. So now all we need to do is just find a decently level surface to set the drone down on, which we're doing right here. As you can see, I just set it here in my grass. Don't worry about setting it there. It'll be just fine. And then what you want to do is there's a little unlock button right here. You click that and that'll start the blades and then you hit launch. And then once you do that, as you see here, I just hit the unlock button 
and I hit the launch button and it takes off. So now let's go ahead and look at some footage recorded directly to my phone. How are you guys doing? As you guys see, not a bad drone. Camera footage is decent for 4K. You know, this is one of their lower uh, ranged ones. So you guys so might notice it seems a little bit there are other ones because this drone does not better. have a built-in microphone. Now, and even if it did, like all you, you said, would really no hear microphone, are no the built -in, blades you know, gimbal is just it. stationary drone. pleasant yeah. sound, so I understand why they didn't put it in love here. The B now, the 4K camera on this drone does uh, it. What? I love the B accent. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what the B accent is. So, great little drone if you guys need one. Now, we're going back to some more Anchor products, and these are Eufy. Eufy is their uh, under company. Uh, Daring. Oh, Irish. There, there you go. I, you know, I was lost. I, I'm telling you, I'm having one of them one of them slow mornings. It's just, it's a bad morning. <laughs> so, next up, we're going to show you guys some Eufy products, of course, guys. This one first is their uh, Floodlight Cam 2, I believe it is off the top of my head. It is. It is. I was right. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger yeah, Tech yeah, yeah, yeah. And today we're going to be taking a look My spell at this Eufy Security today. 2K Full HD Recording Floodlight Cam. Uh, this is an absolute Bobby? beast, and I expect nothing less from Eufy because they are anchor. And you guys will notice that right here, you are going to have everything packaged very nicely. So we went ahead and took everything out of the box, so I'll show you everything that comes with it. You're going to get this little box right here, and this is basically going to have everything you need to get this installed. You're going to have a hook right here to hang the light while you're mounting it to wherever you're going to mount it to. Then you're obviously going to get all the hardware that you need to mount this to wherever you're going to install it. And then also you are going to have this little sticker that you can place on your window or door just to let people know that you're protected. And then you're going to get the main unit itself which has these two huge floodlights that get super bright. And you're also going to have the camera itself. All of this is very well made. Everything has a nice metal housing on it. So I know this thing is going to hold up well over time. Like I said before, I expect nothing less from Eufy because they make awesome products. So now the camera on this is a full 2K resolution camera with auto night vision. There are two ways that you can install this for power. You can install this into a normal outlet if you have that option, or you can disconnect this three prong from these cables and then connect these with the wire nuts that are included to already ran I'll be right back one sec, guys. if you want to do it that way. So you guys can see right here that we are now live view from the Eufy Cam 2K. And honestly, this thing looks incredible. So one of the things that I wanted to point out about the Eufy 2K floodlight is how wide this angle is on the camera. You guys can see that I have it mounted in the corner of my garage right here, and it can see so far away. I'm turning on the light right Honestly, it's a great little floodlight uh, security camera if you guys need one. Now, that is the Cam 2 2K. Now, we're going to show you guys the Eufy security cam camera E with built-in. This is the next one up. This one's about $99, so the E-Home. I believe, nope, nope, nope. I went too far. Why is that uh, video that's popping up? Hey, Justin, I think I have the wrong video. I do, I do. So, little mix up here. We're gonna pop over to the next one. Eufy Cam E. I'm not sure uh, if Justin's watching. This is the video he gave hey, me for this. Hey, what's going on, guys? But... Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we are gonna be taking a look at the Eufy Cam E. So today's video is just gonna be a quick unboxing and seeing everything that comes with this, and just a brief overview of the Eufy Cam E. So Eufy is made by Anchor, and I have always stood behind Anchor products, and it just seems like the more and more as see time the, goes by, Anchor just continues to make amazing products. So this is part of their security line. You guys can see here that they advertise it as one charge on these cameras because they are wireless, is going to last an entire year. It is wow, hey, that lasts longer than mine. and it has military grade data security. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just get this open and take a look at it. 
And honestly, just the packaging on this feels really nice. This does have... So this is definitely the wrong video, guys. And I apologize for that. But we're going to go over... We're going to show you guys the product page for the black one. Let's just go over here, right? So we have the Eufy Security Floodlight Camera E with built-in AI, 2K resolution, guys. This is a two-way audio, so you can listen in and you can hear uh, or talk if you really want. Comes with no fees, guys. 2,000 luminous brightness. It will flood the ground with light. Uh, it is fully waterproof, guys, and weatherproof, so don't worry about that. It works with existing wiring, so you can put it right in where your old floodlights or outside lighting goes, which is really cool. It does come with a weatherproof uh, junction box that is already required. Most of your houses should already have that, so don't worry about that. And since it is uh, legitimately, guys, wireless, you connect it up to the Eufy Home Security app, and you're good to go. It does have a 100 decibel alarm, so when triggered, it will be very, very loud. Now, it's not louder than my car, but it is definitely loud enough that the neighbors are going to hear it, and anybody else will hear it, and it'll you know, pretty much detour people. Guys, as the motion sensor, it will detect if it's a human or animal by size, which is really great to have that option, guys. Eufy did a great uh, job with these products. I highly recommend them, guys. It's just a great, great product. Now, next up is the Eufy Security Solo Count E20. And I'm going to make grab this video. Now, the E20, we're going to show you guys the E40. The E20 is what we got in the carousel, but we have access to the E40. So this is my new Eufy camera. I'm super excited to use it. I looked at the instructions. It's super easy to set up. It comes with the mounting screws. You do have to charge it. It'll be flashing blue if it's charging and off when it's fully charged. And then the mounting base for it is super easy to do. You just unscrew this off and fit the screws through these holes and mount it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like from the Vantage. There's also a QR code on the bottom that you need to scan if you install the app and you should install the app because that's how you get a lot of the features out of this camera. But basically I'm going to show you what it looks like from that Vantage. Then I'm also going to show you how the app works and we'll get started. So I have my camera set up now. I love the UP app guys, I really do. The play button on here on the app. Oh, we'll kind of talk about that real quick. With the Eufy app, guys, it will literally control most of these devices that we just shown in this app, which means you have access to all these products in the app into one place. And I'm going to grab this real quick because I have multiple cameras in my house uh, and it will pop up and we'll show you guys this. Like I have a row of cameras and hopefully you guys can see this and go up and then you have your home base. If you have the door locks or you have uh, the security floodlights, all that will still be there and you'll just pick your device or area that you want to view or look at the notification list and it'll tell you what's been detected or been activated. It's a great little thing. So it's going to load the video. And as you can see, it's an amazing view. The quality is absolutely wonderful. It really is, guys. The quality of these cameras and the video, it's, it's phenomenal. Plants right there. Zero, 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 one, 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 one. Uh, hello. Out, um, basically on a walkway. Now, one thing that I really do enjoy about the app is that it gives you a notification when there's motion detected, and that's something that's super cool. Not only that, but there's two-way audio that you can use, and there's a lot of accessories um, down here that you can Yeah, use. I will tell you guys, most of these are wireless and rechargeable, and when they tell you the battery life, that battery life is only detect uh, determined by the amount of clips that it is recording. So if it's 20 second clips, uh, that will determine the battery life. If it's longer clips, that will determine if the battery life is shorter. If you view the live stream more, it will actually, uh, you know, discharge the battery quicker also. But guys, these are really great products at a decent price. And you should, you know, one of the things, you know, I prefer to have the security that way I know. It's called almost like a peace of mind. Uh, you know, then I, you know, Say, hey, at least I tried. So, hey, old man, how you doing? Or old mage. My bad. Old mage. I don't know why I always say old man. <laughs> what do we got next? <laughs> oh, the Yuffie baby cameras. I believe Nate did this. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Burger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am super excited to showcase to you guys the Space View Baby uh -oh. Monitor Pro. 
by you. Water ring on the table. So this is a very, very easy to set up and use baby monitor by we a company that makes very high quality products. So I am expecting this thing to work very well. Getting this thing was super easy to set up. All you had to do was basically just plug in both the camera. Now we will mention guys, this is the one product that will actually not work with the Eufy security app. Uh, you have to actually use this uh, monitor uh, with it. So and the base right here, and then just go through the on-screen pairing options. And as you can see, it is paired, and it's actually very, very responsive with how fast it is responding to what the camera is actually seeing and reporting back to the base. You do have a ton of motion control right here on the unit itself, so you're going to have hey, buddy. 330 See how degrees. Hey, buddy. Of horizontal rotation which is absolutely crazy so if you have a toddler for example you're definitely gonna be able to see what they're doing all throughout hey, the room and then you're also going to have a crazy I do a gift card giveaway leg room so you can see where your kid <laughs> is at or your baby just see what anybody is doing with this camera this little setup right here is actually very simple and very nice all so of a sudden now I'm getting a cough into the settings right final here. morning a ton of options built in so you're going to have a brightness setting right here Scrolling down, you're going to have your voice mode, which is going to allow you to hear from the camera and also speak through the camera. You're going to have sound alerts for movement. You're going to have different sounds that you can play through it. Camera zooms, you can add multiple cameras to this setup. You can delete the cameras. You're going to have night vision mode. You can do time sets, anti-screen flicker. You can change the language. There's different temperature units. There's a whole bunch of yes, different features. change the language for me, please. With this simple I to use I would prefer not setup. to know what I'm doing. So continuing on, you're going to see right here that this is plugged in currently, but you do not have to have this plugged in constantly. You can let it charge up and then just kind of walk around the house with the screen in your hand. And you're also able to mount this to the wall with the included wall mount adapter. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn off the light so I can show you the night vision mode because I was actually very impressed with this. Coming in at 720p, you could expect it to be a little bit higher, but for the price point and the simplicity of this, the... IRs on this actually work very well at producing that night vision effect. Well, I can't even really say effect. I mean, it's... If you guys need a baby monitor, maybe this is the one for you. Now we do have a few more uh, Eufy products coming up. The next one is actually the HomeVac H30, and I believe Justin did this video for you guys. So we're going to show you guys this. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel oh, with Dragon Ball. Was Nate. Nate got one Today, too. we're going to be taking a look at this HomeVac H30 Venture by Eufy. And so, as you guys can see right here, there's not a lot to the H30 Venture. You guys can see that I'm holding it. It's very portable and it's very lightweight. The first thing in the box that you're going to notice is you get this base that is attachable to the wall if you choose to do that. You're going to get this adjustable attachment head, and then you're going to get a wide mouth head in order to just scoop up more at one time. Then you are going to get the battery. You're going to get instruction manuals as well as warranty information in this little box. You're going to get mounting screws for the base, like I said earlier. Then you're going to get a little cleaning bristle. Then you're going to get a basically a do and don't card. And then finally, the charging cable. And this is everything that comes inside of the box with this. To get this set up, it's very simple. Just take the battery that I showed you beforehand, and you're just going to slide it in the back right here until you hear a nice audible click. And once you do that, the next thing after that you have to do is basically just turn it on. To do that, all you have to do is hit this power button and just select which mode you want. So you have Eco and Max. Eco doesn't have as much suction strength as Max, but it also saves your battery, which is why it is called Eco in the first place. So to test out the H30 Venture, what I wanted to do is just pull up one of my couch cushions here. And we already have some stuff on the couch, but I don't think that's going to do a good enough job to showcase how well this vacuum works. So we're going to sprinkle some salt against my better judgment. Just don't tell my wife. So what we'll do now is we'll use the wide mouth head that I'm showing you guys right here. To attach them, all you have to do is simply slide them off. And if you want to remove them, they just pop right off. So right now we are in eco mode, and we'll kind of go over this slow just to see how good of a job this does while using the eco mode suction strength. And you guys can see it does leave a little bit behind, but with a couple passes, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now we are on the max mode right here, and this definitely does do a lot better of a job at getting everything up. Stuff, sir. But just keep in mind that this is going to kill the battery on it a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and speed all of this up just so you guys can kind of see. 
Now, guys, just remember, since it is a portable one, guys, the, the container is not that large. So you will need to empty it probably a little more than you're used to uh, with these. But, they, guys, they work great for your cars and the house, little areas, um, if you need them for a quick pickup. I We have one. We use it for our car, and we love it. I mean, of course, I also use my regular household vacuum in the car. I'm not sure I should, but, hey, we just won't tell the wife about that. Next up, guys, is actually the RoboVac X8. This is actually a really, really nice Robo vacuum if you guys need. So we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys this. So one feature I like about oh, the Justin. Ufi X8 Twin Turbine RoboVac is the fact that when you go to plug it in the charger in the charging base, you can actually wind the cord inside the charging base so that way you don't have a lot of cord hanging around. I also like that the power button is on top of it instead of off to the side. Now I have put the Ufi X8 through its paces on my hard floors and my carpets and various rooms in the house. But one of the things about the Ufi X8, which stands out among other Robovacs, is the fact that it has the twin 2000 PA suction. Which this means is, while it was going over the carpeting, almost like a normal vacuum, you could see it actually leaving the carpet disturbed behind it, and you could tell it had enough suction to actually move the carpet with its little bristles on the carpet it was able to move and displace surface dust yeah, maybe surface this is what i need another robot vacuum so, that so i don't have to, to suck it up. all the time i really put this robovac through its challenges by adding a lot of obstacles to this room this is my product review room so i added a floor fan i had a chair in there i have my yasuda stationary back in there i even added a step ladder open because i wanted to challenge this robovac to see how well it can navigate around all these obstacles so i wasn't using it for room mapping for the purpose of this testing i was very now, the cool thing is, guys, they do have the app for this. The app will allow you to adjust the, the app or clear out the mapping that it already did or even do other adjustments. It'll also tell you uh, if you need to clean it and all that other cool stuff. It will also allow you to send it back home. Guys, these are really cool. Now, just remember that they will only go up about a quarter inch lip. If that step is too big, it's not going to go up or it's not going to go down. If it goes down, it ain't going to come back up. So it's just one of them things to remember with these products. Uh, robot vacuums, guys, they are making their way in the, to the future, honestly, and helping keeping the house clear. Now, it's not going to clear everything up. And if you have animals that maybe make spills throughout the house, it may drag that through the house. So just remember, guys, it is a robot vacuum. It will go through, but it's not your eyes. So it may go through something that you don't want to spread through your carpet or spread across the floor even farther, but they always work. And they work great, guys. Eufy made some very, very phenomenal products. Uh, not even kidding. Now, the next up is actually a Paris Roan uh, window AC. This is an 8,000 BTU uh, window AC that Nikita did hey, for us. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Oh, Nate Today, did this we're one. Be I take that a back. Look at this Paris Roan air conditioning I was unit completely as wrong. you guys can see right here this is an in-wall air conditioning unit and this has a ton of awesome features and a ton of power so let's just go ahead and dive right in and take a look at everything that it has to offer so as you guys can probably see right here right on the front panel you are going to have all of your controls so we'll go ahead and zoom in and just take a look at them so you guys will notice that right here you're going to have your power button this is energy star certified you have your fan speed button you're going to have your timer as well as your control for the timer and the temperature. You're going to have mode, which is fan only, energy saver, cool, and dry. And then you also have a filter check. Now, installing this was very, very simple. There was not a lot to it. All I really had to do in order to get this installed was simply just put on the seals that are on the left and right side and the top and the bottom and then you set it in there and it just kind of falls right into place and you shut the window on it. So you also are going to get a remote that you guys can see. Now I do recommend guys with window ACs, there are little screw holes in those real rails that connect to your window. I do suggest mounting them that way they don't move. That way if maybe you have a little kid and they wiggle it around, it won't fall out. Maybe you're an upstairs and you have it upstairs. Uh, mount them guys don't don't just set them in the window and leave it definitely mount them in there use the mounting hardware it is truly important see right here so you guys can see that you have a ton of different options on the remote itself such as your on off switch your mode selector temperature and timer settings right there fan sleep timer and i feel 
This is an IR remote and it does come with two AAA batteries. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is just simply turn it on. Beep. And so Beep. you guys can see that right there whenever I turn it on you guys might be able to hear this. Whenever you first turn it on you're going to notice that the fan speed is on auto because it's reading the temperature in the room and reading what temperature you set it to and adjusting the fan speed accordingly in order to yeah, the cool thing is, guys, definitely, uh, you know, keep these clean. Uh, check your filters every a month or so. Clean it out. Wipe it out. Let it air dry. Then put it back in. Get back to work. Uh, great little uh, window AC, guys. An 8000 BTU. It's going to work very, very well for you in the time of need. What do we got next? Next up is a thermal printer. And I believe this might be the one Justin did. It is. This is a label printer. That is for people who run their own Etsy stores, Shopify stores, you make your own merch or you sell your own merch and you need to ship out your merch yourself, packaging it up and ship it out to, you know, your customers, your consumers, things like that. This is the ID print or IDPRT shipping label. So the way this works is, and hold on, my headset cord is over my printer cord here. I have it all plugged in, so I have cords everywhere. So the way this works is you get a package or several packages. You would weigh them with a package scale, right? Measure them to get the right boxes, do the right measurements. You plug that information into your UPS or FedEx or whatever your shipping provider is. And then this syncs with it and it prints out a shipping label that you could just stick on and then drop off, do that quick drop off or quick pickup. So I created a custom shipping label here because shipping labels have PII data, which is personal info data. So I had to remove a QR code, I had to remove the barcode. And this is kind hey, of just a sample shipping label. And I already printed this out on the printer to show you. So it can print almost border to border. Really, really nice size. Comes with a bunch of labels, but you could buy extra labels. And one thing it really uh, is exciting to announce is the fact that it could do 72 labels a minute. 72 labels 72, a minute. 72, guys. I don't know how anybody could ship 72 packages that quickly. And cool but, thing is uh, you don't need ink because it's a thermal. It it burns so I thought it it'd be in. fun to see how quickly this I thing love would actually print. It's now connected as my printer in real time, right? But I'm actually going to do a print test and do 60 and see how fast it spits out 60 labels. It has an auto feeder. You take the labels and the, the label tray and you just align it, feed it in, and then it pulls it in and automatically feeds it in. Labels come out here. You can open it up if anything gets jammed. This is an automatic feeder as well if you need to feed it specifically. It works with labels that have cutoff points as well as a continuous roll. It works with both of those. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my Word document here, which has that same sample label. And I'm going to click Print. And I'm going to set 60 copies. And I don't even know if there's 60 sheets here, but I just got to make sure this cord doesn't get in the way because I don't want it to snag up on the paper. So. We'll see if I can get how fast we can spit this out here. I'm going to try to get some camera spitting this out. Ready? Let's see. Too bad you got to waste all the paper. Though. Yeah, but they sent it. It's sample. You can see that, right? You see how fast it's printed shipping labels, right? That's 60. 72 Super per minute. Super fast, guys. Crazy. Look at that. Look how fast it prints out shipping labels. Honestly, guys, a great little printer if you need something for need something like this for shipping out stuff. Next up is the Line and Four by Six photo printer that I actually did. We're gonna kind of just pop over here and talk about this. James, jump forward. We're gonna let it play now, guys. This is a mini photo printer for four by six pictures. It has a little photo tray. You can fit, I believe, uh, quite a little stack of papers in there. Now, it's really small but the problem is with this is it actually feeds the picture back and forth so you do need a little ex extra room but once you're hooked up to you like your phone or your pc with this guys it prints very very well now i did some pictures and it does your four passes it has your red green blue and then your clear coat and then it makes it actual picture it works great guys this is actually one of those little uh, things that worked like i couldn't believe it worked like it did uh, and the size of it. Great for just printing out four by six pictures if that's what you really want. Let's jump forward. We'll show you guys this. Uh, are you drawing the... No, I, the laptop. No, uh-uh. We're only doing a gift card live today, buddy. Why? Does the laptop in today? 
Or did I miss something? <laughs> so guys, as you see, we had yellow pass. Now we're doing red pass, then blue pass. Uh, it's 90s. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say. And then you come back. Once that, that, that other pass is on, then you come back for a clear pass. And it's done. Now you will need to let it dry a couple minutes or, you know, 30 seconds before you handle it, guys. Because you can mess with the ink. Now it does have a border around it, but not a big deal. Simple to use, simple to connect, and quick and fast. That's all you really need. Next up, guys, is from Smoosat. This is their S8 kick scooter. Now I have their S9 kick scooter. I just did the video for it the Here other day. Here showcasing the Smoosat S8 kick scooter. What I really well, like is the, the larger 8-inch wheels mm -hmm. and the fact that it has a kickstand, and you can see it can stand up on its own. It also has a Y-shaped handlebar, I have the electric and it's one. quite adjustable for either younger kids all the way up to teens and even adults. And I like the way you could just pull on the lever hey, and fold it up Morning. as well. So it really folds down quite a bit. So my son took it out for a test. I, I didn't want to wake up. It was balanced very well for I him. Go back all you have to do is use the included Allen wrench tool to loosen Loosen up the latch next to the handlebar so you can raise the handlebar to the right size. And he took it for a spin, did about 20 minutes testing, used it many times since then. The large wheels really make it easy to control and handle the various bumps on the road. So it's much better than those scooters that have very small wheels. Overall, excellent scooter, works well, has a nice kickstand, highly recommend it. They really are good scooters. Now the one I have is an electric base. You do have to kick it like three kicks to get it up to three miles an hour. Then you put the throttle down and you're going. It can do up to 10 miles an hour with the throttle, which is actually kind of cool. But if you just want the kick version, we have you this Moosat S8. Uh, next up is a product that I love, and I'm telling you I love this because it is a beast of a monitor. This is the Innocent 40-inch monitor that I still need a monitor mount for James, to use permanently. Now, guys, this is 30. 3440 by 1440p it can do dual screens you have multiple plugs it can actually plug in and run multiple devices you can have one screen your pc one screen uh your xbox or console or you can have it um dual screens like two hdmi ports off your computer running two different screens uh you can do it as a single screen or you can do the side by side picture or picture in picture it does have built-in speakers and it has everything you need now some cool things is, is the adjustments of this monitor stand it can go up and down or it can swivel side to side it has tiltable uh, also guys it does so much with the stand that it's built on which is great uh, but my spacing where I need to put it doesn't have room for that um, uh, hey Bob Justin if you're listening in somebody spamming YouTube buddy I cannot stop that one. Um, but here's the adjustments, guys, of moving it back and forth. Very nice, like, very easily done. Uh, guys, really cool. Now, it works great. The coloration is excellent. This thing is super bright, super clean. It is w, uh, WQHD, so it is full quality HD. Uh, guys, this thing's cool. Uh, hey, Blake. <laughs> Um, guys, ignore those. I apologize over there. Guys, just a great, great monitor and super big, 40 inches, guys. Uh, who doesn't need that much monitor on their PC? Uh, yeah, um, the I am the mod right now. The other mod is actually working, so I can't get over there to actually fix that. Uh, Klein's Monster, hello. Guys, and this is just a little comparison of a 16-inch tube up against the 40-inch monitor. But a great monitor nonetheless. And it's like 479 guys. It's a great deal. It really is a good deal. What do we have next? Oh, we have the Anchor Sound Core Boost. I believe. I think I probably did this. Yeah. I see Blake. Blake, I see you everywhere. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. James here. And today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Anchor. This is their sound core boost now this does ipx7 waterproof so do not worry about getting it wet guys it ain't gonna hurt it does have 12 hours of play time on a full charge does have their base boost technology plus their customizable eq if you really need now like i said fully waterproof guys it is 20 watts of power and it has wireless steering pairing capabilities plus usb usb-c connectivity 
Plus, you can actually charge your devices off this. So if you need to charge your phone, you can actually do that. Let's pull this out and let's give you guys your first look at this product. Whoa, 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 whoa. It actually came out a little different than I was expecting. So we have a <laughs> box here, right? Like, we that's have pretty funny. USB to USB C cable, which is very cool to actually have. Plus, our instruction manual, we really don't need the instruction manual, guys. You have the end cap if you need the end cap of the box. And then we have the speaker. The speaker is actually quite nice. Now, it does just pop over. Let's check that real quick and I'll let you know. Okay, guys, to actually get Sound, this in right? Bluetooth mode, you hold the power button down for two seconds and it'll automatically pair up. Now, now that we do that, I'm going to set this down here, guys, just like this. So I'm going to grab my phone. We're going to grab the Soundcore app right over here, guys. It's going to pop up, and we are going to go into pair mode. That. Now, we're going to go down here, and it should automatically detect, and it did right there. Hopefully, you guys see this. Anchor Soundcore Boost. We're going to click connect. And now it's going to connect. It's going to go over here, guys. It does say firmware update. We're not going to actually do the firmware right now. We're going to do that in a few. So then we have the EQ, guys, right here. Simple, easy. You pull Adios. down this big circle. It's going to go into EQ mode. You have several of the bottoms, or you can do customization. We're going to actually do. leave that there, but we're going to turn the bass boost on, of course. Then we're going to back out. Play some music. Play. You may have to do the firmware update. So I did the firmware update. Now we're going to play this, right? We actually have this in play. We're going to turn the volume up as we go. So we're about a quarter of the way. We have bass boost max up. this out. Hit that down. Hit this right. up. Just put it back on. We have minus over here. If you need minus volume or plus, bass boost on. Of course. Kevin. Oh, California. Right on. Guys, super room filling. Nice little portable water cooler. Excellent Bluetooth speaker. Guys, they did great. And with the options of being able to adjust the EQ with the app, it's really, really nice. Now, definitely remember, guys, to do the firmware updates. It's really, really important because it will light it, uh, work the best to its best uh, abilities. Now, we're going to switch views here, guys. And we're going to pop over because we're going to do some stuff just like this. Guys, the next up is from Vossen or <coughs> Kavossen. This is their 1520p 32 megapixel trail camera. Now, I do have a video of this, but why not just show you guys this? This is actually really cool. Now, you have the big manual. If you need the manual, guys, for this trail camera, you do have that. You have a mounting bracket. This mounting bracket, uh, I have trouble with playing sound. Please type name. Uh, the name of what? What am I missing? Uh, so you guys have the mounting bracket. It takes three screws. You can screw this into a tree, side of your house, or your property where you want it permanently mounted. Then you have the angled piece, guys. This angled piece does have the little screws and brackets. This will actually mount to this, and this will mount to your camera. This will allow you to adjust and angle it whatever direction you want to work that, guys. It works great. Guys, this is a cool little mount. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to just temporarily, temporarily mount this, they do come with dual Velcro straps. These Velcro straps have little ratchet pieces inside, so you can connect up the trail cam to that. Then you have the trail cam. The trail cam does come in camouflage color, guys, of course. It has three triggering sensors, motion sensors. Then you have the camera lens, and then you have like night vision lighting and LED lighting there. Fully waterproof, guys. Don't worry about that. It's fully weatherproof. You guys, on the side, you pop it open. If you want to get in here, this is where you'll access everything, including on the side panel where you'll put your batteries. Now, this will run off four AAAs by itself, but with all the AAAs, if you put all eight in there, guys, it is going to run for a lot longer of a time. Now, it is 2.7K resolution, which is great to have. Will work uh, down to 4 degrees or all the way up to 140 uh, Fahrenheit. It has 8 months of standby time with those batteries. Now, you do have a 3-inch digital screen. You have all of the buttons and controls you want. Now, you can put a micro SD card in here if you don't want it to store on this uh, temporary. You do have a, a connector slot to connect it to your laptop or PC. You also have a little headphone jack so you can listen to it. It does do video or photos. 
Then you have the button, the button right here, guys. This will do uh, uh, setup, off or on, and that allows you to adjust it to where you want it, guys. This is actually a very, very cool little trail camera. I did do a video. The video works great, guys. This is actually a nice little product if you are a hunter or just want to put a trail cam out to capture animals on camera. From Kavasin, guys. Now, let me put that back up. Now, like I said, has the tripod mount so you can connect that. Great little product if I can get it back in the box. Just one of these days, one of these days. Hey, thanks, RJ. I'm going to set that aside. What do we do we have next? I believe this is... Do -do 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 -do. Bear with me, guys. One second here. That's what I thought. I'm uh, checking one thing, guys, real quick. I am being spammed. All right, cool. Next up, guys, this is from iMazing. This is their IM27 uh, jumper pack. Now, guys, this is a cool little jumper pack. This is a 2,000 amp peak, uh, 18,000 milliamp power bank jump starter. Guys, this will do up to 8 liter gas or 7.5 liter diesel. Uh, it is definitely a 12 volt audio or auto, but you can do a, a, like a one liter uh, lawnmowers and stuff if you need the little batteries. Cool thing is, guys, it comes with this nice little carrying case. Inside this carrying case, it comes with the product itself. Now, like I said, it can do 8 liter gas or 7.5 liter diesel, and it will do 30 jump starts off a of full charge. This will hold a charge for over 12 months, so you're good there. Inside here, you have the little manual if you need this. Then you have your jumper cable part with... Polarity guys you cannot plug this in wrong. There's no way to plug this in wrong. You have your positive in red You have your negative in black. This thing is cool Now next up you have the 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter plug guys this 12 volt lighter cigarette plug will let you charge uh, Your cigarette lighter devices off that then you have the USB to USB C cable This will allow you to charge this device or charge another device off this device which is actually really nice. Now, it is this. This is as big as it is, guys. This is simple. Nice feeling, firm, grippy in the hand, will not slide out. You do have a power button. The power button comes on. It'll tell you actually how much power you have, and it tells you that it is going outwards. Now, you do have LED. The LED does SOS. Uh, it does flashing, and it does regular lighting, and I will show you guys that right now, just like this. There's regular. There's SOS, and then there's flash mode. We're going to shut that off. Then you have your USB-C in and out. This is where you put in your cigarette lighter plug, which I just showed you guys right here, just like this. Very simple, very easy to do. Then you have your two USB uh, ports in the front, and then you have your jumper cable port plug right here. This is where you'll plug this in, just like this, guys. It only goes in one way. Once you go in, it starts going green, and then it will go blue, and then it is ready to go. That's as easy as it is. Connect it to your battery. Go in, wait three seconds, and try to start your car, and it should start, guys. Do not get caught without one of these. It's crazy. This is the IM27 from iMazing. Now, we just gave one of these away like a week or so ago. So that is that one, guys. If you have any questions. What did I miss here? Hey, Sly Cat. Uh, who else did I just miss? I uh, missed some names. And stuff's flying. What did I miss over here? Oh, Miss Danny. Hello. How you doing? Good morning, Wendy. 
So that's the IM27, guys. That is the little baby of the versions of this one. So we're going to go with that. Then we're going to go over here to this one right here. And I'm going to grab this. We're going to grab it, right? We have unboxings today. So cool thing, guys. This is, of course, the, the bigger brother, the next one up, right? So we have some different versions, different stuff, what it can do and what it can't do. Now, this does have the same thing, the 12-month full charge standby mode, guys. It does have the LCD screen, does have all the same protections as the other one. Now, this is a portable jump start. It's 2,500 amp peak current, 20,000 milliamp power bank. This will do 8-liter gas or 8-liter diesel. Now, I'm going to pop this open, and I'm going to show you guys this. Now, some cool things. It has... The cool carrying case, guys. It does have the hard shell case if you need it. We open that up, and then we're going to kind of show you guys stuff. First, the manual. If you need the manual, you definitely have the manual. Then the product. The product is very, very nice looking, guys. This has a little bit of a design on it. It does have your USB-C on the side, in and out. You also have your 12-volt plug for your cigarette lighter. You have your two USBs on the front. Plus, you have your uh, car charger jumper pack right there. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Then, of course, you have your screen. <clears throat> it shows 75% charge. This will also be where you turn on your flashlight, your SOS, or your flash. Now, you can turn it back off. Now, also, it has all the same cords. The USB, you have... Your jumper cables, guys. The jumper cables, I love this because they can only plug in one way. You cannot do a reverse polarity. Once you plug it in, guys, it's in. It's good to go. You have your black and red cables. You have your red for positive, black for negative, and it will connect and go in, and you are good to go. It fits in there tight. You have your cigarette lighter plug, guys. This will plug into the side, and it actually will be able to use it to plug in, let's say you have an air compressor or you need to charge through a cigarette lighter style. It has that. It also has the mini USB-C to USB cable to charge it or charge outwards. Now, if you need to charge uh, your phones, you may need your own cable. But guys, the iMazing IM29, this is a nice one, guys. And this will do one liter uh, vehicles all the way up to eight liter gas or eight liter diesel. Just a beautiful jump pack, guys. Now, this has a reverse polarity protection over protection, over heat protection, over voltage protection, reverse charging protection, short circuit protection, and all of the goodies that you need with the display at your hands if you guys need. I Amazing I-29 might be the one for you. Now I'm going to pop over, and I'm going to put this away. Any questions about those two guys, please ask. I will answer. And I'm not sure why I didn't move over. So. Ha ha ha. I apologize, guys, about the spam over there. If you guys are on YouTube, I there's nothing I can do about it. I don't have access to stop it. I am truly, truly, truly. Like, want? What do you want? I don't, I don't know. All right, guys. Next up, we have one more. This is going to be the big, big brother, guys. This is the IM39 from iMazing. This is 4,000 amp uh, peak at 26,800 milliamp jump starter. Guys, this will do all gas engines and up to 10 liter diesel engines. This one has 18 months standby time on a full charge. It has all the same circuit uh, protections, guys. It has the over circuit, over uh, all of the protections that you truly, truly need, guys. It has a reverse polarity protection, short circuit, overheat, over uh, voltage and reverse charging and many many more now guys this will do so many jump starts off this it's crazy 
you should be able to literally jumpstart a car 60 times off a of full charge. And like I said, all gas engine uh, engines will be able to do that, guys. You have the carrying case. Now, this one's bigger, and this one is heavier, most definitely. Okay, if we open it up, same nice shell carrying case for this. And I'm going to pop this open. Uh, instruction manual if you need it for the IM39. Now, this is where it gets different. Guys, this is almost like a carbon fiber look. It has their logo. It has a bigger power button. This one does not have an LCD screen. Now, when I turn this on, you'll see the 75% charge. If I hit this button and hold this button down, the LED lighting is different. It is a corner angled. If I hit it, it will go to red flashing or SOS. If I hit it again, it's just flashing. Hit it again, it goes back to plain white. So this one does have the red flashing. This has the dual USB ports, of course, guys. You have the output one and two, so you're good to go there. On the side, you have the USB-C and you have your DC output. Now they do give you the DC output, so you can plug it in just like this. Plug in a cigarette lighter style charging port. Maybe it's uh, for like your air compressor or maybe it's for your uh, mattress uh, pump or something like that. This will allow you to do that. You also have the USB-C cable. The USB-C cable is right here. This will allow you to charge this device. Now, it'll take about an hour and a half to charge this device fully. You don't have to worry about it. Then you have their nice little jumper uh, cables here, guys. Very simple, very easy. Now, the difference is on the side, this is where you'll actually find the plug. Now, this plug is on the side. And like I said, guys, you cannot plug them in wrong because they are sized and shaped differently. So don't worry about that. You literally plug it in, it's going to go blue, and you're good to go. If it shows red, you have an issue with the circuit jumped. If it's green, you have another issue. There are markings on the back that will tell you what it needs and what it is. Jumper cables, of course, are color coordinated. You have red and black. Black is your negative, red is your B positive, and you are good to go, guys. If you need this for 60 jumps, 18 months standby, the eye amazing eye. 39 is going to be the one for you. Now, it's a little bigger, of course, guys, but it's a nice jump pack. Really, really is, guys. So that is my three jump packs for you for today. Uh, I did have those on hand, and I did want to show you guys those. Yeah, great little products, guys. Really are. Now, I'm going to try and put this back in the bag real quick. without having too much of a hassle. Yeah, the jump packs, man. I'm telling you, if you've ever uh, broken down or needed a jump start and had to wait for somebody, this can actually save you from that. This is cool to have these on hand. I, this is one of those things I recommend right next to the air compressor, carrying an air compressor in your car. Uh, always keep a charged jump pack in your car. You never... Never know when you're going to need it. Honestly, you really you really don't. What do we have next? Oh, the Raptic uh, link and lock for air tags. Grab that. Today, we're taking a quick look at a product that actually works with the oh, Apple sure. air tag. As you guys see, I have a simple Good Apple day, air Good tag day. sitting here. Of course, it still is wrapped because I have not activated it just yet. The device that we're looking at goes yeah. with this. And what it is, is this is from Raptic. Guys, Raptic has made you a, a link and lock for your Apple AirTag. What that means is this is a heavy-duty oh, combination lock to protect your Apple AirTag. What that means is, is you can connect this up to, like, your luggage Ooh. and find your luggage at an airport. Let's say, you know, as you guys most of you have been traveling. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have jumper cables in my car either, but... Uh, uh, I mean, I guess that's because I have, what, three, four batteries in my car? <laughs> sometimes it luggage really gets isn't lost, do much. sometimes luggage gets stolen. Well, this will actually allow you to put it on a, of the luggage. We do have a couple more uh, unboxings coming up, guys. Being able to so, be tracked. Now, you're gonna love we're going to kind of show you guys this. Now, this does have a three-digit combination. Try and get them out. This is made out of polycarbonate, guys. This is very, very nice. Now, this is Maybe? a four-inch device. 
<laughs> you do have the instruction manual. Uh, instruction I didn't count how many products were left in how to the carousel. Use it, install and, it and make some products I go through faster, some I go through slower, buddy. Then you have the device that's have here, and like I said, it's nice and large. Here is your combination dial. Here is your little button to open it. We are doing a giveaway, though. It pops open. It's card giveaway, On the bottom down here, and I'm not sure you guys can see this, there is a little pin. That little pin pushes out so you can set the combination to what you want. Now, right here, this plastic little shield actually slides up and out. This is what you put your Apple AirTag in. Now, this comes apart just like that. Guys, right? Grab your Apple AirTag. Now it does go in a certain direction, just like that. You'll grab this device and you will mate it up hmm. with. Let's find the actual piece. There is a little notch right here, guys. So Not always. Yeah, like sometimes. Notch, it. Sometimes. Which means you then slide it down, just like this. Once it's honestly, guys, this is really cool to have this AirTag. If you guys travel a lot and you're always worried about your luggage coming up missing or something, this is really nice to have. That way you can track it down. Now, unfortunately, you know, by the time you track it down, you if it was taken from the airport without your uh, knowledge, your stuff probably is already missed out of it. But to be able to access it, maybe those people didn't realize that it had the air tag on it. Uh, to be able to access that's really, really cool to have that access. Now, the cool thing is, is, is once it's paired up to your phone, it will actually connect into the, the, the iPhone world and it will actually bounce off everybody's other phones to tell you where it's at. Uh, guys, great little product. And when Raptic made this, guys, it's really cool to have it. And you do have the lock that you can make your own combination. So not everybody has a combination. And the good thing is, is you don't have to worry about that because it is TSA approved and you don't have to worry. And it works great, guys. This is really cool. Now, Raptic did a good job with this little bracket because it is super, super strong. I'm just saying, you guys might need one of these. Hey, Jeff. Good morning, buddy. What do we have in the future? I don't know. Uh, next up is a universal waterproof case for your phones. Let's grab this and let's let the video test. So this is the universal waterproof Wait, it's Nikita. It's very easy to use. It comes with two cases and two lanyards that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and drop my phone into one of them and kind of show you oh, how it works man. and then put it in my sink so I can kind of show you the waterproof. But all you have to do is unclip these two sides right here and it allows this thing to unlatch. And then you simply drop your phone right through the top there. I have them leaving my case on just don't because pass. I don't feel like taking it off. And then you just make sure that these two parts are together and now a cool thing about my one jump pack i use is also it's an air compressor go ahead and show you don't guys worry about that like when i put two and one sink in the water <laughs> so here's my sink it's full of water here's my phone i'm just going to go ahead and drop that in there because i'm not worried about it now it won't float and because of he that he says he's not worried device, about it always put the lanyard on it if you're going to be using in like a pool or like open water or something so you don't have to worry it will about float. it but as well if it's see, in the I ocean the ocean salt water it will float. water and i can still use it through the um is that drake and josh on the phone like screen no that's him and his wife you see i can still hit numbers and stuff i'm not going to enter my code on there that's pretty as you can see i can still use it that's him and his wife buddy all right my bad not wife him and his girlfriend or fiance i can't remember and they're not married yet but yes it's his significant no all good i didn't know if you were serious i mean sometimes people can't tell by the picture uh if if it's actually just a joke picture or a real picture but no that is his actual Hey, Nikita, if you're listening in, is that your fiancé or is that your girlfriend? I'd like to know. <laughs> Guys, next up, we have a product showcasing. We have a couple unboxings. Now, these products are on hand, and these are really cool. The first one is from Bessie. This is their Brass Black Waterfall Spout Faucet, guys. I really want to put this in my bathroom, and I think I'm going to because I should be able to connect this. Now, this is black in color, but it is by Bessie, guys. It's a brass faucet uh, fixture, and you guys are gonna see this. This thing's great. Now, a couple cool things is they do give you the little plate, guys. This plate is cool. It does have the gasket, so if you have the style of uh, faucet that has the double handles coming up, this bracket will block that, so you don't have to worry about those extra little holes showing. They do have the bracket. That's cool little piece to have in there and have that option. Now, 
They do have the little instruction manual. If you guys need this, this will tell you how to do it and how to set it up. Now, you also have your pipe fixture. This is what's going to go under the sink and screw up to the top of the sink to connect it, guys, right? Now, we're going to kind of show you guys some more things. You do have your hot and cold uh, pipe fixtures right here. So you do have your pop pipes, hot and cold. You do have your compressed fittings. You will need these compressed fittings, guys, to connect it. You do have some plumber's tape. Make sure you use the plumber's tape so you do not have any leaks. Now, I'm going to pop this back over. I'm going to show you guys this. This thing is gorgeous. I really like this. Let's show you guys this. This is your actual faucet. This thing is just gorgeous. Now, right and left is your hot and cold. Up and down is the amount of water coming out. Then you have this nice little uh, nozzle where it's almost like a rainfall or uh, a, a stream coming out, guys. But look at that. That thing is so, so nice. Now, you have your dual hoses. That's where your compressed fittings will fit on with those connections to connect it down below. Then you have your fitting right here. And I'll kind of show you guys this with this fitting. This is where you'll actually pull it through, guys. And start screwing it up until it's tight and connected. Once you have it screwed down enough, then you'll screw up the upper side to tighten it from underneath to where you have it fit in on your counter. Just beautiful, guys. Bessie did a great job with this waterfall spout. I actually believe I'm going to probably connect this up at some point in the next week or so. Probably after my new shower is put in. But I think I'm going to put this in my uh, apartment. I'm going to start using this, I think. If you guys need, Bessie's got you connected with this. Now, this is solid brass, guys. This whole fixture is solid brass. Uh, it does come with the, the, the deck plate, guys, for one to three hole uh, transition. It has the, you know, matte black finish. Everything you really need right here, guys. And it's really simple to connect up. If you guys need to know the dimensions, it is approximately seven and a half inches tall. Uh, it does stick out about four and a half inches wide. So, Bessie, if you need it, Bessie's got you with their brass black waterfall spout. So, yeah. It is a really, really nice faucet. I, 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 you know, I live in an apartment complex and I rent. Let's be honest, you're, you know, I think I'm going to change it out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to change that out. I, it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen, right? Now, this next product up, guys, we're going to talk about. We're also going to unbox, but this one's going to be a little bit different because it's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit bulkier. So I have to kind of move some stuff around here, guys, to adjust stuff. Uh, so I do not, uh, I dropped the gasket. Let me put that gasket back in this other box. I do not want these mixed up because I do need these gaskets uh, if I end up installing this stuff. Let's put that back. Let's close this. Nah, I don't care. I'll leave it behind. I'm not worried about that at all. So, next up, guys, I need to move my keyboard. We need to make some space. We have the Bessie Shower Rainfall Shower Head, guys. This is a full-on system. This is a 12-inch rain shower head, guys. This also comes with the UPC certified valve cartridge and valve controller. This has the cold water inlet. This one does take some modifications to install it into your shower. If you do not have the knowledge, do not, uh, you know, try to do it without the knowledge, guys. Now, you will have to cut up your shower to put this in unless you have the area for it. Now, I'm going to, it's big, guys. It's really, really big. So, we're going to kind of show this. You do have the instruction manual. If you guys need this manual, I'm telling you, you will probably need this manual. Pop some stuff open. Let's move some stuff. And... Here is the shower head itself. I will pull this out. I really didn't want to have to do this, but let's see if I can get this out, right? Guys, 
If you ever just wanted to jump into a shower with the shower head that big just raining down on you, I do all the time. Bessie has it done. Now, each one of these nozzles, guys, is rubber. So they can be cleaned. They are nicely done. They are rubbered onto black. You have your articulated uh, connection right here. It is a screw-on shower head style. Now, this is cool, guys. Look at the coloration. Look at the size of this. Imagine the water pattern dropping out of this onto you. 12-inch squared shower head. This is beautiful. Now, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to go start grabbing some more pieces because this is a full full on kit, guys. So it comes with everything. So we're going to show you guys this. This is has a shower head. This is the shower wand. It does come with a wand. So you do have the wand. Guys, it comes with the wand. I mean, think about that. It comes with the wand. It comes with your uh, the knob connection. This is your knob for it. And I'll kind of show you guys everything else. You have your connector piece. This is what you'll actually stick on the wall, guys, to hold your wand, right? Just like this. It'll come in. It'll hold the wand like that. You have your connectors. You have your pipe connections and all of that. Now, let's see if I can find everything else that goes into this kit. So I believe this kit's even bigger. Trying to grab everything, guys. So bear with me. We have more pieces. I, it's a full-on... Guys, this thing's a big kit. Put the wall on the side. If you need some more uh, bracket size, this will actually go up against the wall. You have several of those right here. All black with rubber gaskets, guys. You will definitely need those. Here is your shower wand nozzle. This is the actual nozzle head, guys. Think about that. It is adjustable. It will change uh, positions, guys. If you need, you can turn it to ch adjust it. It's just phenomenal the amount of stuff in this. Another handle for the actual pieces, guys. This is going to be your handle to turn the water on and off. This is your wall bracket. Once you cut open the shower, this is the bracket you'll put in place. This will show you guys how to connect up the wand, which direction hot and cold is. It is black. It is gasketed on the back. It is nice. You have all the hosing you need. This hosing is for that wand, guys. It is black. Uh, very nice. All of the mounting hardware and screws. You'll actually have the huge Allen wrench that you'll need to adjust everything. You have more filter screens and nozzle heads just in case the nozzle heads on the shower head pop off. They are replaceable. And that's what I meant by they are washable. Two rolls of Teflon tape. You guys use the Teflon tape. You're going to need it. It's important. I'm going to pop that over here. Then you have your valve chuck control, guys. This is your valve. This is what everything in the back of the shower, behind the shower wall, runs through. You have your inlet for hot. You have your inlet for cold. They are labeled cold and hot. You have your thing. This is actually needs to be level. It has to be level. Water feeds into this. This is your control. Then you have your outfit piping and all of that, guys. It's a full-on kit. Bessie did a great job with this kit. They thought about everything you need with this. And I'm telling you... If I could tear open my wall, I would install this in a heartbeat. I really would. I'm not sure I'd be allowed. Probably be never allowed back into this place. But hey, whatever, right? Guys, so that's the Bessie showerhead system, guys. Has everything you need. Honestly, if you need a showerhead system, this is going to be a nice one. Hey, Wiley, how you doing? I'm going to attempt to put stuff back in here, guys, so bear with me.
Uh, anybody remember how this went? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> so guys, bear with me. I do. I want to put this back up. I do not want this room. Great little shower head system, guys. If you guys, yeah, you can never have enough hose or water uh, or water pressure. Next up, guys, is the Ionic hair straightener. I'm going to pop over. We're going to play this for you guys while I put all this up. Let me find the Ionic hair straightener. Where the heck is it? There it is. Can't let the wife see that. Just... <laughs> No, let the wife see it. Let the wife see it. She needs it. Good morning, guys. It's Brittany. Um, today I'm coming to you with this Graphene Times hair straightener brush from this the nice box black box with that beautiful rainbow metallic writing on it. Um, I've never used a hair straightening brush before, so this will be my first time with you guys. I normally straighten my hair with a traditional way with a comb and a flat iron. Um, so I'm about to ready to show you my mop here that we get first thing in the morning. <laughs> so it's gonna take a little work, I think, to get there. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair and start by kind of just giving myself a deep part there so I can work through it. Um, this is ceramic plate technology for heating. It is ionic, so it's good for sealing those cuticles and keeping your hair really smooth and the frizz a bay um, it's got these nice kind of plastic right. back guys protectors picked over it the up top there we're so good anti-scald so if i touch <laughs> it to my scalp i'm not going to burn myself as you can see i can you know you want to redo the shower hair. again no, you fine. know you Once want it 450 him. degrees you can change it from fahrenheit to celsius as well i'm going to do 410 degrees because that's normally what i would use on my um my normal straight I am definitely so, hooking up the little so faucet the because I know that's not invasive and I don't have to tear a lot of stuff up pulling my hair if I could tear apart that shower I'd put that in in a heartbeat oh my gosh <laughs> it worked way better than I thought it was going to I'm gonna try the other direction hey oh it's not a bad I'm price excited. for that thing like it's actually a really nice system in my hair but give me that straight look at the same time how well that works, you guys. One sec, guys. I'm going to adjust I'm the AC. It is getting hot. Over there. Wow. This is actually really cool. And you know what I like about it is normally with my <laughs> traditional straightener, I have my go. comb or my hairbrush, and I'm trying to keep that hair straight. I should just get the remote out. I forget there's a so remote for that AC all the time. It requires a lot less dexterity <laughs> when it comes to straightening your hair, so I feel like... Um, if you're a beginner, as uh, they are. Hair, Let's talk about that. Maybe you have like a dis There are a lot of this uh, utensils in my house. My wife is a beautician. My daughter's a beautician. Uh, they are both licensed. Uh, there is so much makeup and hair stuff in this house. It is crazy. Now, guys, these are really great uh, for uh, pricing on the shower head. That shower head, I believe was about 151 today so it was about 151 dollars now that does come in several colors too it comes in uh brushed nickel and polished chrome if you don't like the black so about 151 or 152 dollars you're close song in my head it's yay <laughs> Yeah, a lot of them Dar yeah, yeah darren you're right a lot of them sy systems are 300 plus the price, man, is just crazy for that. Uh, but it's like, I think it's normally like $189, still at $151, $152. It's a good deal. Now, do take in consideration if you do not know how to install them, it will cost you to have a plumber come in and put it in for you. So you do need to remember that. But if you are really handy with your hands and know how to do a lot of that stuff, I you go for it, guys. Really. Really go for it. Now, the Ionic Hair Straightener, guys, is a great product. Will straighten your hair out, and it does heat up decently and will not overheat. But, guys, remember, it is a hot tool. So a hot tool can and will burn through hair if it is left in one area too long. 
You do not want that. You don't want your hair damaged, uh, especially for the women out there. If you're like me, what hair? I mean, what? <laughs> uh, so, got you covered. What do we got next? What do we have coming up? Oh, we have the FFW dog dryer if you guys need. Do, 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 do. Um, guys, what the short version or the quick version of this? <laughs> Let's just pop over, guys. What's this with your this dryer dog too? dryer this comes with clean. several heads and nozzles. It is a, easy to adjust the temperatures and the blowing speeds. It gives you all the uh, abilities to adjust it. So, you know, maybe if your dog's a little skittish, you can do that. It has several nozzles that which are great for like doing undercoatings or for smaller dogs or bigger nozzles for just jet drying. Um, it also has another nozzle that will help get that undercoating out also. And then it has a four finger one that will blow in different jets in different sections. So it's not all blowing in one area at once. It gives you a wider berth. Guys, it looks like a fog machine, but it works well and it works great. Now, if your dog doesn't like super high heat, uh, you can adjust it down. It doesn't allow that. Or if your dog likes warmer heat, you definitely can adjust that also. That dog's having no... Actually, that dog loves hair dryers. It's just a new product. It's never heard this one before. So they usually uh, dry that dog with a hair dryer. Her actual hair dryer. So that's how it was done. That dog loves it. Uh, it's just the first time it's ever heard or seen this product. So most dogs are like that. I mean, if they first heard or seen something, they're a little uh, thrown off by it. I know all my dogs used to be. Yeah, Daniel, that, ooh, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. That's a good shower head. I really want it. But they use this all the time now. The dog loves it. It works well. There is no complaints with this product. And as you guys see, the dog's standing there and loving it now. Just takes a little use to getting used to. Uh, if you need a hair dryer, guys, FF FFW has got you covered. So, great little product. We just went a little faster with that one. I mean, usually that's a little longer video. What do we got next? Uh, anybody, anybody? Uh, giveaways, guys. We are doing a gift card giveaway at the end, so make sure to answer that. I will be doing that at the end. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, I I have a song stuck in my head too, and I keep tap. I, I don't know. That's it. You guys are fired. At least it's not the Spice Girls. <laughs> now everybody's head went straight to that one Spice Girls song. I guarantee it. The moment I said Spice Girls, everybody went to that one song. I'm not mentioning it because it's not happening. Hey, Siren. How you doing? Let's go. Do, 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 do. Eat tissue. Oh, I did this one. Hey. You guys get James a hell of here. James here. Quick unboxing and showcase of a new product, guys. This is from our friends over at Syncom. This is their precision muscle massager, guys, right? This has a 15-minute timer, six changeable heads. It has a 2,000 milliamp battery for six hours of use time on a full charge, right? So okay. you get five levels of vibration, plus it has a super quiet and high torqued motor. So you guys are probably saying, this little box, what's inside? DDD chat poster. Did I miss something? What's DDD? So inside this is, of course, a carrying case, which is very cool that they give you this nice carrying case, right? So inside the carrying case, we're going to kind of... He, he, guys, go ahead. Tell them what Spice Girl song it was. It's got their logo down here. Nice little hand. <laughs> handle strap so you guys can take it along. Oh, you know, I don't want to be... It's good that they give me the case so if you guys don't have to have all the heads laying around and stuff like that. So popping it open, you have the user manual up here, right? You have... Ah, let's be honest, guys. guys. You have several modes, you have several speeds, and you have multiple heads. You have a nice battery life and it will stop after a certain amount of time. So you cannot over massage yourself. I love the concave guys. The concave paddle is where it's at. We're going to pop over here guys. This thing works great. It gets in there nice and taut. Now there is no LCD screen. On the back it just has an indication of LED lighting. And the percussion style uh, brushless motor head works well. Guys, it will get in there. It will massage you. And for like $49 it's a no brainer. It's just one of them things. Everybody should have a massager uh, if it's hands-on personal massage 
or a massage gun. You know, uh, everybody should get a massage at least once or twice a, a week. Uh, you never know how much stress somebody holds up until you start you running a massage gun. Nah, kid. Now, on the bottom, you do have a power switch. That's actually where you'll charge it. Also, you do need to flip that switch to actually activate this and you let it go. Then you on the back, you have the button. The button will activate it, and then it is good to go. Multiple heads, guys. If the heads come slightly loose, check the gasket on the head, and that's all it takes to fix those. Great little product, quick little thing. So, everybody, what's everybody doing? Anybody got lunch? I would like some lunch. Now, next up is a product I actually have here. I do not have it unboxed. I don't have it on video. Uh, so we're just going to do a showcase on the product page, guys. I need to, at some point, get outside, unbox this, and put it together. Uh, I just showed up the other day. I'm still working on getting... Oh, my wrist. Let's pop over here. Guys, yeah, so this literally is a four-person tent, guys. It is waterproof. It is from Lux Coal. This is their family dome tent with porch kickout. This actually has a setup where it will come out and give you an area to have uh, no rain come down on you. Those have open wind wings. Those open sides will actually stop the wind from ripping around and coming into your door. It does have an open top so you can stargaze at night if you want. Guys, this thing's really, really nice and it's fully waterproof, guys. It's a PU 300 millimeter. It is a double layer. It does have... Uh, ropes uh six piece ropes tie downs it does have 16 pieces of stakes at for it now like i said it has a top open air now a top open air will allow you to stargaze at night if you're in an area and you know there's going to be no rain pop it open stare at the stars while you're sleeping go out there and go to town now inside you also have a storage bag where you can store your phones and all that stuff on the very top of the tent you do have a hook so you can actually hang a lantern or a light at, at your knee now it does have a ten dollar clippable coupon today so it brings it down to like 49 dollars it's normally about 120 uh if you need guys this is a nice little tent now i can actually kind of show you guys the size of this it's not super big this is what it breaks down to this is it this is how big it breaks down to this is your tent easily to carry guys you can backpack with this very very cool uh, just one of the things. I just need to get time to unbox it and truly do a video. Uh, yes, she has a nice yard out in the middle of nowhere. Perfect for camping. Not sure that our neighbors would like me if I pulled in with the stereo on, but hey, nice place. Next up, guys, is a product from B-Can. This is the B-Can 450-pound foldable mini trampoline. Now, this is actually a product I believe Nate will be doing shortly. I'll show you guys this. Uh, I do not have this on hand. It comes in two colors, green and red. Will hold a person up to 450 pounds. Has multiple elastics all the way around, guys. If you need it, those bungees fold this into place. It does fold up flat, guys, if you need. Comes together. Putting it together it has several legs that will need to be put on, plus the jump uh, or the elastic straps that will need to be put together, guys. Easily to clean, water resistant, wash it off, guys. You're good to go. It is a great little exercising trampoline. It's 40 inches round. Guys, perfect for kids, adults alike, anybody up to 450 pounds. <laughs> I didn't go there. I didn't say it. You did. I did not say it. Yeah, guys, uh, Nate will be doing this video of this product at some point, so keep your eyes out on that, guys. It'll be cool. Now, it is foldable, like I said, so you can carry it around in your car if you really, really, really need. What do we have next? Oh, we have a headset test. The JBL Quantum 100s. I'm going to plug this in and connect this up. And the next rest of this test is actually going to be from the microphone. So if you guys give me a second, we will connect that up and give you guys your first look at the microphone. Okay, guys, now that we got the headset hooked up, this is everything from the JBL. Listen to that, guys. This Listen to it. This microphone is actually hooked up, and I will bring it closer so you guys can see it a little peak a little higher, or I'll move it away so you can't. But, microphone mute. Um, I'm sure your neighbor's about a mile away can hear it. <laughs> Let me hit the mute real quick and see how it works. 
now that I unmute it again, it should come back. Now the sound is actually pretty decent and doesn't have a problem with me. I don't have a problem with the sound. It actually sounds guys, this JBL headset, the microphone works great and it does have a good sound quality for the price range. If you're looking for a headset for gaming, uh, maybe your kids go through a lot of headsets. This might be the option for you. It's like $29 today. It's like a really good deal on a headset and the microphone literally works good. I have no complaints with this headset for the quality and price range. I really don't. Next up is, I believe, uh, I can't remember. I, Ice Jungle Bridge, yeah. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I'm super excited to showcase to you this Ice Jungle Under Counter Indoor Outdoor today. Fridge. This thing is made very, very well. As you guys can see right here, it is all stainless steel. And on the handles, it has this really nice brushed stainless steel look on it. And everything about this thing just feels very, very, oh, very well made. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and walk up next to this. This thing is actually a lot bigger than it might have seen on the videos. You guys can see it's about hip height on me. And it's an almost arm's length as wide as it is and honestly this thing just fits so many drinks but let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the things that this thing has to offer now one of the unfortunate things is while i was moving this i did dent this corner right here so definitely have help when you're moving on that note guys he did get himself a dolly so he will never have that problem again this this thing is not light by any means at all so definitely just get some help when you're moving it so taking a look at the bottom tray right here you guys could see i was able to fit in all of these water bottles and still had tons of room to continue putting more and more drinks in there or whatever else we'll go ahead and take a look at the top shelf right here and you guys can see that i have some gatorades and some cokes in it here it really is and the now cool thing about with the the real cool thing is you can adjust the temperature anywhere from 32 degrees up to 72. But now, I would technically, if I had a backyard barbecue, this would be the perfect place to put that out back. So you can store like the meat you're cooking at that time. Or maybe you guys are having a uh, barbecue with all your friends over. You can store the drinks and the cold foods like your potato salads or your salads or, you know, your dressings and stuff in this and grab them as you need. That way it's not sitting out in the heat and going bad. But guys, it's a great thing. And when you get the storage dividers, it has plenty of room for multiple drinks or multiple uh, styles. The dividers are done well, guys. This will work in pretty much any setting. Maybe uh, a game room, uh, a man cave, or a, you know, a woman's cave, whatever you decide. Or just like I said, a backyard uh, barbecue area, backyard cook area, or just a backyard that you guys hang out in a lot. Gives you all those options. Plus, it has the lighting. The lighting can be adjusted to come on and off as the door opens, or you can leave it off at all times. You do have the temperature adjustments and all of that. Yes, the funny part is, is Nate did dent that when moving it. It's a, you know, they, they have a little bit of weight, so he probably wasn't used to it. He probably hit a door frame or something. It happens. I mean, I've done stuff like that before, and it, it really does happen. Um, Nice, yeah, nice, nice points stack. What do we got next? We have an electric height adjustable desk that Nikita did. Do, 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 do. Let's grab this. Hey everybody, so this bad boy right here is my Siago electric height adjustable standard. Hey, you guys it's save up enough of them you can get merch. Cool you guys features. can definitely the first of which is uh, leave do uh, that you use to subscriptions adjust, adjust to our channel, uh, standing desk, which I'm going to show you entries so into our giveaways, uh, extra entries, in, all kinds of stuff. I hit one right here is going to adjust it to its highest position. Now its lowest height is 23.6 inches and it goes all the way up to about 49.2 inches and it will hold 240 pounds of weight it's absolutely sturdy and super easy i want to see nikita get up on this thing when it's thing. rising but now i would love to see that guys what do you think highest height is going to stop right there i'm going to hit two and it's going to just down to a sort of medium setting at 100 and then uh once it gets there i'm going to show you guys basically how to show you. program this really amazing really easy to use now thing. it really is cool that you can program it to the height that you like let's say the lowest height you want you set it up credit put it in there and you put it in memory then you can do the max height set that up there then you hit the button and you can do the button quick but if you want to manually do it, you have the up and down arrow also. And to be able to hold 240 pounds is actually really cool. Now, 
if you saw the amount of weight in monitors and PC stuff I have on my desk, it's probably exceeding a lot of it, and it's probably getting heavy. But nice desk nonetheless. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's actually very decently priced, about $247 to have the motorized motors and all of that cool stuff. So, all right, cool. All right, so great desk, guys. If you need one, definitely Nikita still has this. So if you guys have questions, check out Nikita's streams. Um, I believe he streams tonight. I'm not really sure if he is. You guys can definitely ask him about this desk. Uh, he could probably tell you more. Now, I was just told that Blake was made mod on YouTube, so he can actually stop the spam for you guys. Blake, be careful with that power, buddy. <laughs> all right guys next up is a couple products that nate is actually going to be doing uh very shortly he has these coming guys these are actually really really cool products now we're going to pop over we're going to actually grab these pages the first one up guys is from one Odie audio uh, or audio i want to call them one audio uh they are the a11 bluetooth 5.0 uh 5.2 headsets Guys, these are an over-ear headset with wireless headset. Guys, fully wireless Bluetooth uh, for daily use. Hi-Fi audio, deep bass, CVC, 8.0 mics for calls, wired or wireless, two-in-one with comfortable ear cups. Guys, these have 40 millimeter drivers. They do have a battery life, guys. They have the 8.0. Uh, the 8.0 mic is really decently done. I've tested a few 8.0s out. Fully adjustable and clippable, guys. With this, it does have touch buttons. Uh, you have your volume, uh, your volume up, and your play or play buttons are all in one. You have your super EQ or bass mode. Then you have your voice assistant. You have your on and off plays, all of the cool stuff. Plus, you have the charging cable. Plus a 3.5. If you don't want to use it wireless, plug it in 3.5, and it will work that way. Now, what I want to know is, and I want to check for you guys, since it has the EQ built in. Uh, it can do about 32 hours of playtime off a two-hour charge. 32 hours on a Bluetooth headset is actually really, really great. Uh, hey, uh, we're being spammed yet again. I guys, I apologize about the spam. I really do. So, guys, these are the A11s. Now, like I said, Nate will be doing, I believe, about four of their products coming up. So, wait to see those on hand because I can't wait to actually see it. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty decent products. Now we have one more headset from them that we are going to show you guys this. This is their monitor style. This is their 60, monitor 60s. These are professional studio headphones, guys. These are for recording. These are wired over the ear headphones, guys. These have a 1 fourth inch adapter for tracking, mixing, and DJing and mastering and podcast. Now, the cushioning on these are going to be even thicker and they are going to be even more comfy. Now, a couple cool things is, is in this, you get the carrying case user manual. You have the one 3.5 to 3.5 plug. It's a three, mil, uh, three meter cable. Then you have a, a 3.5 to 6.35 plug. Uh, that is going to be 1.5 to 3 meter cable also. Then you have 3.5 to 3.5 cable with microphone built in. You have all of that in there if you need. They are gold-plated jackets. Guys, these are going to give you the quality of... Being in a DJ booth with the DJ, these are just that good. Now, so a couple things, guys. If you need these, these do have 50 millimeter drivers. Uh, today, they do, this one has a $6 clippable coupon if you need it. So, guys, one audio monitors if you need headphones. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, hey, uh, Blake, are you around still, Blake? Blake, Blake, Blake. I need you to do some work, buddy. What do we got oh, next? Oh, this is cool. Now, this is, guys, this is actually something that Justin uh, is doing. Now, I'm going to grab this link real quick, guys. I apologize. I need to grab a separate link for this because I need this. I need this. Add media. That is not right. Ah, 
Um, let's see if I can get this to work properly, guys. I apologize about this, the way this is going to have to work. Streamlabs has stopped working. What? I'm here showcasing and testing the East Oak 1200 watt portable under table mini electric heater. Now, what I like about this. Hi, guys. Electric the only way I could do this video, I apologize. It's small enough that it should fit under most tables, and it has a little glass plate on either side of it to protect you from getting burned against the heat coils. Uh, why is that? Coils. Doing that? And you okay, can see how the this. plexiglass and the tight glass is on each side. It has a really nice aesthetic to it, and it has a nice rubberized hey, handle grip. Here's the heater coming on, and it produces a tremendous amount of heat. I did and not realize that was it. Heater. You set uh, this video on the table, and people sitting on both sides of the table are going to get warm super, super fast. Now, the one thing I didn't find I liked too much about this is the switch to turn it on and off. Instead of it being on top or on the side, it's actually underneath itself. So you have to stick your hand underneath the heater to flip the switch on and off. So I felt like the switch could be placed in a better location. But other than that, the heater produces a tremendous amount of heat. And again, because that glass plate does get hot, but it doesn't get as hot and you're, you don't burn yourself as if you were to touch the metal coils itself. So it does provide a little insulation, though you don't want to have this thing too close to your legs. And you can see in some tables like mine, that's you know, the height just might not be high enough to get this on the table. But here's it on top of the table. And no bueno on the switch. Night. Again, produces <laughs> yeah. a tremendous amount of heat. If you want to have no a party bueno. out in your backyard, no bueno. in the time it's kind of cold out, this thing is sure to keep your entire group warm to allow you to enjoy having a barbecue out in the backyard, even in the fall or into the winter. It's an excellent electric heater, produces a lot of heat, and it is IP65 waterproof and dustproof, so if it drizzles or something like that, you don't have to worry about it. You'll be able to have a good time in your patio at night when using it. So if you guys need one, East Oak got you covered with that patio heater. Now, I do apologize, guys. I did not realize that was a, a different style of video where I would have that preset up ahead of time. Uh, so do apologize about having to do that that quick like that. Not the way I like it. What do we got next? Oh, the x -Sense, uh smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. All right, today we Ear have warning, the guys, for you. Wireless interconnect Deep your toes toasty and crispy carbon monoxide because it's really warm. So it is both your smoke detector and your carbon monoxide detector, and this is a three-pack. I'm a little overzealous, and I want one in every room, so we're going to grab the six-pack. Now let's go ahead and open up one of these and see what we're dealing with, all right? Got the six pack, now, guys. Right off the bat on the box, yeah. you can link up to 24 of these bad boys together, which is great. As mentioned, it's both smoke and carbon monoxide. Extra loud, and I love this real-time display to see, figure out where it's at. And it indicates a 10-year sealed lithium-ion battery. So at 10 years, it probably should be a... Uh, replace these. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get this open. And see what we got going on in here. Yeah, the cool thing, guys, is you have the multiple devices, you have the mounting pieces, and they all pair up together. Now, with that, you do have a 10-year battery life, guys, so after 10 years, you will have to replace them with new ones because they are a built-in internal battery. You cannot just swap out the batteries in this, so just the one downfall. Now, you do have the mounting bracket. Once you screw that bracket on, clip it on, it will automatically activate the device. So from that moment on, you do need to label this uh, when this uh, device was activated, and that way you keep track of how many years that it's good for. Now remember, guys, sometimes batteries go bad before that, and it will actually indicate that it does have an LCD screen, and you can pair these all up together. They will interlink, and once they're interlinked, they will beep very, very loudly, tell you they're linked, and then doing a smoke test, guys, they even get in louder. But if you need, they have a three pack or you can get two of them, get six pack, right? Uh, multiple pieces, guys. They also sell singles if you need. Very little price, $30 for this one, I believe. Let me check. Now, this is a standalone model for a single. Uh, the five pack, guys, is I believe the five pack is about $165. And the six pack, I believe they might be uh, $249 for the six pack. So, if you guys need, they have you covered. Next up is the Vaunt Smart LED light bulbs that Nate did for us a while back. Now, on that note, guys, we are doing a gift card giveaway very shortly, so make sure to enter that. Nope, that is not it, guys. That is definitely not the link to enter. <laughs>
that is. No. Why can't I? I can't even. Hey, what's going on, guys? Comment? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech what? and Entertainment, and today we are going to be taking a look at this Vaunt light bulb. Now, this I light bulb here isn't I just a regular light bulb. This comment. is a smart home light bulb. Now, this package does come with two of these bulbs, but to test this out for you guys today, we're only going to need the one. I this thing is super easy to get days, set up, so let's I'm go ahead and jump guys, in and just, just show you guys everything days. you need to do. So all you have to do is just simply Ugh. plug this into an existing light source as you guys can see here i'm using a lamp i had a little bit of trouble putting that in for some reason then once you're done with that go ahead and turn on the light and as you can see here when it first comes on it's just a normal warm light we are able to change that by pairing this well. with right, the so application right that. that you can download on the google play store or your app store and when you do that it's going to walk you through the setup super simple to do then once you do that, all you have to do is just pull up the app and you're going to have a ton of built-in features such as all of these preset colors. Now it does seem a little bit dim in the video. It is definitely not as dim in person. It's just because I have overhead lights on that are kind of dimming that. So if we go through these, you can see here you have a ton of built-in colors right here such as red, purple, green, blue, white. And you also have scenes that will automatically change the lights and there's quite a few built-in scenes right here as you can see here there's 13 different built-in scenes that just add nice ambient lighting and then you also are going to have a music feature that when music is playing through your device the lights will react I'm to back. that so right, these smart home light bulbs definitely come in at a great price and they also have a ton of built-in features so if you've been looking for a new set of vaunt might be the ones for you guys vaunt makes a great product i have a lot of vaunt led stuff and they actually work very great Next up is the Modoker Women's Backpack. Hi guys, it's Brittany. it's Brittany. Today I'm coming to you with the Modoker Backpack. Look how cute this backpack is. Govi. Govi is so my go-to. Every time Vaunt makes I a good product. It, it they really do. Find a different compartment. Look on the strap. Uh, a Govi because I have more of the Govi products and they I it's you know, that's just you the just, way it is. You know, pull down your uh, but it works just as good. The vault really does. A little elastic part there that you could clip a badge onto if you wanted to. Yeah, the vault's there a good product. Are it really is. Seriously, compartments everywhere. There's a compartment on the back. There's a strap so you could put it over a small suitcase if you wanted to use it as a carry-on. There's a handle here. There's a front pocket with this super cute diamond quilted pattern to it on the inside here you have individual little pockets for your cell phone books pens paper whatever you might want and then again there's another pocket right here which is really cool about this backpack is it comes with a usb port here so you can charge any of your electronics on the go. Yeah, guys, we have one more product after this, and then we'll be doing our giveaway. Pack um, into the pocket you here. You inside can't win. here, where that little wire's coming out, and you are good to go, which is I really like because you're not fussing around with wires and trying to get it in your bag and out of your bag, in your bag. And this bag here, speaking of electronics, has a great pocket oh. for all of your electronics super padded it has a strap here to keep it secure and what i like about all of this fabric is the whole thing is you do have the laptop plus the tablet pocket in the back so guys it really is a nice little backpack and with the diamond tuck pattern on the front gives you that old classic hot rod look on a very gorgeous black and gold coloration guys if you need one maybe this is one for you now it can hold a laptop up to 15.6 inch or about 15 and a half inches guys you probably could stuff a 16 inch laptop in there just be careful now our last product of the day is the aquasonic black toothbrush uh-oh uh <laughs> i'm sorry buddy i'm so sorry <laughs> well the link's down below make sure to click that when you do it please uh you know <laughs> <laughs> uh why did that message get to? i don't know why that message is gone 
Let's play Toothbrush. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathana with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today, we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome toothbrush by Aquasonic. This is the Black Series. So this thing comes with a ton of features. So it's going to come with a travel case. It's going to come with eight different brush heads, wireless charging, four different modes, and a smart timer. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And Let see me know if it was with. easy so to install like when you get it, though. Get is just this I would like to know how long it really takes, how much of a hassle. Its control. So it's pretty cool that they included that. You're going to get a little welcome paper right there. And as you guys can see right here, we have six extra brush heads, which is super awesome that they include these. So once one gets worn down, you have extras to cover you. And then you are going to get the base with a pretty long power cable. And honestly, hey, my the toothbrush base is a wireless solid charger. Pretty heavy. It feels very well made. And on the bottom, it has these anti movement rubber little sticky pads right there. Just so you can make sure that this thing's not moving around when you put the toothbrush back on or take it off. Everybody gets sidetracked. And then it looks like right here we are going to have the carrying case, which should have cool the rest case. of the stuff in it. So let's go ahead and pop the carrying Mine's case. Mine's a Velcro open, carrying take case. Take a look at it. And so as you guys can see right here, we have everything else. So two brush heads right there, and then the toothbrush itself. And the carrying case feels pretty nice and really solid. It, it feels looks really futuristic. well built. It is just plastic, but I mean you can't really expect much more. Uh, but yeah, the carrying case looks pretty cool. Hey, I have a Velcro. And so one of the things I immediately one, noticed about this Velcro. toothbrush is how well built this feels. It's got this really soft touch matte black finish all around it with this cool little design on the back that's going to kind of help you uh, just grip this a little bit better. On the bottom, you guys can see that's where it is going to charge. And one of the cool things that I think about is this doesn't have to be just one person's toothbrush because with multiple head yeah. attachments, all you have to do is maybe put a piece of tape around each head, like a color-coded tape, and then multiple people can Everybody use Everybody in my house has their own electric cool. toothbrush. So let's go ahead and put this on. All share. you have to do is just line I don't it up share. so the bristles are facing the same way that everything on the front is and just push it down. So you guys can see the controls right here are super simple. There's not a lot to this. All you have to do is just simply turn this on and then select the modes right here. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. You guys might be able to hear it. And as you guys can see right there, when you turn it on, it is going to be on the clean setting. I don't setting. blame you. So going through the different settings that you are going to have. Just say, so you have clean, I don't soft, you. whiten, which is really going to increase this. As you guys can see there, even this little bottom bristle is going absolutely crazy and then you're going to have massage which kind of vibrates this a little bit harder not necessarily as fast but it increases the power guys if you need a toothbrush with a whole bunch of heads in a carrying case aquasonic's got you covered with their black series nice little toothbrush nonetheless uh that you are aware of. yeah that's what happens that you're aware of so guys we're at the end of this little stream so that means we're going to be doing a giveaway yeah, giving away a gift card. Uh, hopefully you guys are entered, because, I mean, I would love somebody to win. Uh, let's see. Are you guys all ready for a gift card giveaway? I don't know. Uh, you guys must not be ready. All right, I'm out. Sharing this. Yeah, no, I know. No. I do definitely know. No, I'm not happening now. I'm just telling you, I, I no, it's not. No. I don't share toothbrushes. It looks like everybody's ready. I'm just going to give it about 30 seconds. Because I really just want to go home and sleep. I mean, what? I am home. After the time, I don't remember I made that joke. Buy things. That's it. All right. Draw on our winner. Who is our winner? Lori B. Lori B, are you here? Uh, Lori B. I'm looking for a Lori B. Lori B, you are our winner. Congratulations. John, wait, what? Oh, man, John, were you not ready? Really? Uh, you were in Twitch chat. I didn't. I wasn't looking at Twitch. Now I feel bad. John wasn't ready, guys. I apologize, John. I did not know you weren't ready, buddy. Uh, on that note, uh, bud, Nate will be streaming later, and I'm sure he'll be doing a giveaway, too. I apologize, John. I thought you I did not look at Twitch chat. I feel bad now. I really feel bad. My apologies, John. I really do apologize, buddy. 
All right, guys. On that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some food. It's been a long, weird morning for me this morning. Hey, right, it's all good, buddy. Don't worry. So, guys, on that note, I will see you guys all later. Uh, Nate will be on in a couple hours, so, guys, stick around for that. I know he'll be doing some giveaways, uh, most likely, like he always does. So, I appreciate everybody being here. I'm going to go eat, and then I got some errands to run, and then probably a nap or three. Guys, I hope you have a good one. I will see you guys all later, and have a good one, everyone.